Good morning everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another Inspire Me Wednesday. Today my team and I create projects based on what um, what inspires us. So for my project today I was inspired. I have a few birthdays coming up so I figured you know what I'm gonna go ahead and use this set. It's an older set called Chalkboard Birthday. It comes with some big stamps. So it has one, two, three, four, five pretty good sized stamps and they were meant to fit on the front of the little coordinating gift bag die that's in the back. Um, so basically to put this together you'll have to cut this out twice, okay? And then I went ahead and I used the more stitched, uh, stitched rectangle dies to cut out my sentiment, okay? So I, when I was going through my stash I had already had this colored in and the reason why I didn't use this because I hated the way I colored in the candles. But I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to just get over it. And that's when I went ahead, because it was just on just a regular piece of paper. That's when I went ahead and I grabbed the, let's see, one, two, three. The fourth size from the smallest. And I went ahead and I cut it out and actually cut it cut off the candles just a hint at the top. But it wasn't nothing drastic where it was going to just totally ruin the whole thing. So basically what we're going to do, let me scooch that off to the side, here is what the cute little gift bag die looks like. So what we're going to do, there are score lines, so we are just going to go ahead and just fold them on the score lines here. Let me grab my bone folder. And go ahead and just give them a little crisp there. And then we're going to fold it here. And then there's another part in the center that folds like so. Just like that, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and fold the bottom portions as well. Oops, hold on. And I love, for those of you who have been following me for quite some time, you know how I love my polka dots. So this is my favorite paper. I found this actually in my stash. Okay, so now that we have both of our, our sides, um, both of them cut. Let me scoot this over here better. Um, now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and take, you're going to put them just like so, and then you're going to go ahead and just connect it from here, okay? Now, I don't want the, I'm going to put something in here, but I don't want it to open up at all. And I noticed that, let me bring out what I'm talking about, just so you'll know. I noticed that whenever I use any of these tapes here, in the heat, they actually separate, okay? And I remember when I discovered that, I was like, oh man, I could only imagine all the stuff that came apart. So, I mean, even the super tough one, it still came off in the heat, and God knows it's been so hot over here. So the best thing I chose to use that actually works is the Glossy Accents by Ranger. I'm so telling you, Ranger's the best. I just put a little bit because it is going to seep out, okay? And then you're going to go ahead and just put this on here. Just like so. I'm just going to kind of just put it down here. Like I said, it is going to seep out just a, a hint. But it's okay because we know this is not going to come apart at all. Let me just dry it. I don't want to try not to get anything on here. Okay. Let me look at it from here. So I'm just kind of just pushing it down really well here because I definitely don't want this to come apart at all. Okay, now that that part is done, um, and then now we're going to go ahead and put this side right here. On, we're going to go ahead and just put the adhesive right here. I'm going to try and do just a thin line. I won't seep out too much, okay? But it is going to stay. So 
just going to line it up there like so and then just kind of go ahead and just hold it down for a little bit because you want that to stay down and then for the bottom portion you don't have to use the same thing but being that I do have it out already I'm just going to go ahead and just use it for the bottom part of the bag all right so and then now the bottom part we're just going to have to go ahead and just put this in like so and then we just need one little strip of adhesive right here just like so and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and flip this over there we go flip it over just like so and then I'm going to go ahead and just grab my bone folder and just kind of just push it down just like that okay like I said, you don't have to use this adhesive, but if for me, this will never come off because this is some super permanent stuff. I definitely rather use this for these little for any treat bags. I, I'd even I wouldn't even um I love the multimedia matte ranger one, the other one, which is this one here. But since I've experienced some good good I had some good luck with the glossy accents just as long because I know somebody's trying to say god it got all over my project it's going to get all over everywhere if you put a ton you see how much I did I just did like a hint of it and it will stay okay okay so I'm going to have to put something underneath here next time so it won't get on there okay so there we have it our cutie patootie little bag just like that and that cute you see how it, it folds in on the side just like that um, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and just put this, we're going to pop this up on here, just like that. I think I'll put it off to the side. Yeah, so this is, that's why the, um, uh, the little sentiments are on a larger scale because I designed them to fit on the front of the actual bag. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this on here. And of course, I'm going to put a lot because I don't want it to come off. I, guess I think we could get away with just doing two on here. And that's going to go like so. But before I adhere that on there, let me go ahead and get some string to thread through there for the actual handles. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. I want to say this is called jute, but I'm not 100% sure. But we're just going to go ahead and just put them in the holes because there are holes in here for you already. And what I'm going to do, I'm putting, you can put it in this side or the opposite side, but I like putting it this way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little knot here at the end. And that'll stop it there from coming out. And then we're going to do the same for this guy here. Let me see how long do I... Actually, this is actually cute. We'll do this height right here. Just like so okay and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little trimmy trim here and I'll trim this one as well so make it look nice um, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side I love this bag because it totally totally looks like a miniature a miniature little um, shopping bag that if you were to go to a store and to a nicer store I should say and get how they give you these nice little shopping bags that's what it totally reminds me of and I love this and you can fit little different things in here I've made this for someone and I put an actual set of um, a set of four because this will fit 
my little uh, three by three envelopes. I made a set of four of little note cards one time for somebody as a gift and they absolutely, absolutely loved it. And I have a sample of another one I made and I'll show it to you really quick. But look at how, how adorable is that? Okay, so let me go ahead and just tighten that up just a little bit. Let's go ahead and give that a little trim as well. And this side too. Just like so. And then we're going to go ahead and put our little... Now you could totally just leave it just like this. You don't even have to put the little happy birthday sign on there. Um, and then you could go ahead and just add your little um, tissue paper. And I think the tissue paper looks really cute only because it really looks like a little... It really looks like a little cutie patootie little gift bag, okay? My favorite since we use the white. We'll go ahead and add the sign to match the little white... Um, the little white tissue paper on there. God, you know what? I don't even know if I want to use this or not. You know what? I'll be right back. Okay, it took me a little bit because I was trying to figure out what I wanted to use. So what I did was I grabbed my mini tag dies, um, which are these cutie patooties there, along with my Chunky Jar Accessories Revised. And I used the sentiment Wish Big, and this also comes with some tags in the back. Um, so what I did was I went ahead and I I just hold let me grab this here. I went ahead and I stamped wish big on there and then layered it. I just uh, adhered it directly to the back. And then what I did is I got my pencil and I made a hole. And I'm using this. This is like a really old um, hole puncher that I have. It's gonna line it up right there. And then just go ahead and put punch that hole there. See, I wanted it to be a tiny hole. So this way it won't be so, you know, ginormous. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and get some twine. Let me see if I have any here on my desk. I'm not sure if I should use this color or a white. I have some white one here. Let me take it off this other project here. Maybe we'll do white. So we're just going to go ahead and just thread it through. And we're going to just tie it on here. Super simple. And I love the way it's coming out. 